Hey, I'm Captain Matt Wirt with Real Adventure Charters. Today we're tying basically a big popper fly, uh, mainly for offshore amberjack, uh, cobia like it as well, uh, barracuda. Usually I tie these big humongous crease flies on 5 alt and 7 alt hooks and they work well but they are uh, time consuming to tie and they don't seem to last very long in the water one or two fish and they're destroyed so these popper flies work really well I'm tying these on a CK74 SSS Mustad 3 alt hook uh, I went ahead and epoxied, 5 minute epoxied the popper on this is about a 1 inch in diameter popper and basically what I'm going to do is take my pliers and bend this 3 alt hook out just a little bit to give it just a little more bite making it almost maybe a possible 4 alt but I just want to give it just a little more bite alright stick it back in your vise and since I've already got it 5 minute epoxied on there we're going to just attach the tail and the way you punch the hole through this is with your bobkin then you can open it up with a pair of scissors just poke a end of your scissors in there and it'll open right up and then you slide the foam through the hook five minute epoxy and it holds really tight what we're going to do is just build up a huge huge tail of marabou here really give it some bulk on the back here all right we've got our first piece of marabou here just going to attach it I'm going to throw in some flash at this point some long silver flash material just wrap it in any old way little on the side, little on the top doesn't have to be pretty because all this will be covered up there we go alright now I've just been taking a few long neck hackles just grabbing four or five of these actually we'll grab four we'll put two on one side here we'll go ahead and grab two long ones And we'll put two on the other. There we go. There's two. Just get everything laid down where we want it to go. Grab another piece of marabou. Come right on top. Attach it in. Keep doing this in succession. We'll just keep adding this marabou. I think we've got room for maybe one or two more clumps. There we go. And I think we've got room for one more clump. Let's get one more big piece. This is a good place to get rid of some of that, maybe some of that less desirable marabou you've had hanging around. If you're picky and you pick through it. 
you're able to hide it in this flag quite easily. Okay. Then we'll just whip finish this off. Try to get everything caught in the whip finish. There we go. You can see the bottom isn't that bad. It isn't perfect, but that's okay. Just come through with a little hardest hole. Or zap a gap at a hardest hole. Here we go. Just put a little zap a gap through here. Needless to say, this fly moves a ton of water. When you jerk on this, this is mainly 12 weight stuff. Like I said, for big AJs, Cobia, Barracuda, and when you jerk on this, it creates a, it moves a lot of water, really gets the attention. And then when it stops, this marabou really comes alive and it's still moving quite a bit. Now we're gonna put on our stick on eyes. I've got these 3D eyes that I got. We're going to hot glue these in place. I mainly put them on the uh, mid to lower part of the fly. So when this is resting in the water, the fish might have an opportunity to see the eye. Just try and even the eyes up. Okay, looks about perfect. And that's pretty durable. It's a pretty durable fly. Moves a lot of water, gets a lot of attention, and I've had good results with it. Uh, and it's very easy and quick to tie. So, not a lot to it. Doesn't look like the, the best looking fly in the world, but the fish respond well to it. And I uh, hope it works good for you.